It's believed to be factual and up to date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy and it should not be regarded as a complete analysis of the subjects discussed. Discussions and answers to questions do not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice, but are limited to the dissemination of general information. A professional advisor should be consulted before implementing any of the options presented. Encompass More Asset Management is registered as an investment advisor with the SEC and only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. Registration with the SEC does not imply a certain level of skill or training. And there they are, Clinton and Galen, back with us this morning. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, morning, Todd. It's good to have you both with us here today. General questions after your appearance the other day, uh, folks wondering about this. Uh, uh, First of all, the first question that I had was um, after you talked to us about uh, what you can do for people, my question was who? Who can use your company? That's a really easy question, but anyone that's really working that is working towards retirement, you mm-hmm. know, uh, there's different parts of retirement. You know, you have your investments, but you also have social security uh, and all the other things that go into it. So if you're a working family that is planning to retire someday and you have investments and you're working and want to figure out what you can do with those, that's really who we would work with. Mm-hmm. Because people would look at the name government and civil employee services and they'll say, well, I'm not any of those. Yes. So yeah. I can't use you. So we're, but that's not true. We've for for the entire time we've been around, we've been doing primarily with federal employees, but mm-hmm. we're in the process of rebranding our company. We're going to change from government and civil employee services just to GCES, and we're opening up our doors for everyone. So yeah. anybody that's working anywhere in town, anybody that has a job or has had a job. Um, and has been putting money away towards retirement, that's someone that we can help understand what options are available to them. Yeah, yeah. So, Galen, then the question becomes, well, how much money am I going to have for retirement? Exactly. That's the number one question that I get. How much money am I going to make? And honestly, it's different for everybody. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a guy on next hour from Fox, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe even later this hour. Uh, he's going to tell us that uh, people ages, people born between 1965 and 1980, which is generation something, I don't know, um, the 35% of them have $10,000 or less in savings right now. That's not a good number. No. no. Well, is, it, is he talking more about savings or retirement? Savings. So it's more like bank savings. Money, money, period. Period. This is how much money I have, period. Less than $10,000. And that's right. That's right before retirement years. I mean, you're yeah. 1965. Yeah, that's, that's a scary number. It's a very scary number. It, is it possible? Yes. From what I've seen out there, probably not. I mean, people are worth a lot more than just ten thousand dollars than they might have in the bank, especially if they have pensions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Plus the amount of money that you'd receive from Social Security. Um, so it's not as scary if you take into consideration everything that a person has, not just the savings. And you guys are all about taking that fear away and getting a plan in place that's going to help people to, to build up to, to their retirement. That's what you're here for. When it comes down to it, a lot of people look at their retirement and they have no idea how it's going to work in retirement, how they're going to get paid. It's not like there's some magical place that all of a sudden you say, I'm going to retire and everyone starts sending you a check every month. It doesn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. So what we do whenever we sit down with people, Galen will actually go over how much money they're making right now, what they're paying in taxes right now, what deductions they have from their paycheck and basically show that, okay, well, this is what you're making right now out the door. This is your net monthly income. Once you retire, you're going to get paid this much every month from Social Security. You'll get paid this much every month from your pension, and you'll get paid this much every month from your investments and break those down individually to help people understand actually how much money they're going to bring home. That's usually the easiest way for people to understand Mm -hmm. what retirement's going to look like. Yeah. Galen, take me inside that very first meeting that you have with somebody who who comes in. I'm, I'm guessing that in a lot of cases, there are people that uh, really, A, don't have an idea of what their assets are, uh, and B, uh, don't really have um, a way that they can articulate to you what it is that they have. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the times what I'm going to run into usually is what I call a catch and save. You know, you haven't planned, and now you're at the final stages uh, right before retirement. 
So what I focus on is the loss of income. So I'm finding the negative aspect of how much money you're going to lose, like Clinton said, about how much all your bills costs, how much all your assets are. I figure out where the pensions are coming in from, whether it be from current pension. Um, A lot of people don't have the luxury of just having one pension. People have had multiple jobs. So I figure out if their existing pensions coming in from somewhere else or 401ks. Um, Figure out, first off, Social Security, when you should claim your Social Security, depending on age, depending on when you're going to retire. So pension, Social Security, that's where I establish the loss of income. And then from that loss of income, I then turn to the savings or the 401ks, IRAs, anything would have. And that decides if you need a monthly income to sustain where you're at or if you just need to have that account and pull money out of it as you see fit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the loss. Are there people who say, "Um, I'm trying to figure this out by myself how long I have to work? Yes. Almost everybody will try to find out if they can do it by themselves. But what they run into is all of the rules and regulations on how everything goes. And then people get scared that, well, I only have, just say for a number, $200,000 in an IRA. How long is that going to last me? Well, there's different things available to a person to protect that and turn that into a guaranteed income stream. So it's not that people aren't going to always try to figure it out themselves. It's they might not know what else is out there. So they will seek help at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Clinton, we think a lot about uh, the money that we have in our bank accounts or the money that we might have coming from a pension or, or as Galen said, uh, you know, what is the revenue stream coming in? Uh, That, that doesn't uh, really quantify what our assets are. No, I mean, people still have their homes, um, they might have credit card debt. A lot of people ask us, should I pay off my house before I retire? Um, but when Galen sits down with them, he puts all of that into perspective. And the way I look at it, you know, someone might only have a hundred thousand dollars. Do you know what I mean? That would last them a hundred months if they pulled a thousand dollars out every month. Galen has products and things that he can put in place that are able to make that money last longer. Um, where, you know, you have income for life is one of the things that we, uh, one of the things that we can do, but I look at it as, you know, Galen is kind of like a chef, right? Where if you've never been in a kitchen, you don't know what a grill is. You don't know what a microwave is. You don't know what a steamer is. You know, there's things to make noodles. There's all these different things that he has in his kitchen that he's able to help people Mm -hmm. with their retirement to get them to where they want to go. So it's not cookie cutter where, you know, you get this and you get this and you get the same thing. It's more different where when he sits down with people, he actually gets the chance to put it all together. And it's not that just that one individual person. If you're married, you know, he takes a look at the spouse's stuff, too. And that's really where we learned that we're not just federal employees, because every time that we work with a federal employee, 99 percent of the time, both of the spouses like they both don't work at the federal government. So mm-hmm. we've learned how to take the whole entire family and put that into perspective, because even stuff like health insurance, you know, uh, you might be married and you might want to retire before your spouse, but it might be better for your spouse to carry health insurance for you when you go to retire, because they might have a better plan once they retire that would cover you both. So it's really taking the whole house and looking at the whole picture and putting it in perspective and finding out what the people's goals are for when they want to retire. Yeah. And Galen, I guess you, you have more than just all the different appliances. You got the recipe too. And, and the, the different recipes I do. produce I, different products. I definitely do. And, and like Clinton just said, you know, insurance and finance and, and they are married together themselves. So the health insurance does play a big factor of how your retirement's going to play out, you know, because you don't want to go into or maybe not have a plan set up and go into a cheaper plan and then have outside medical costs and you only have a certain amount of money coming in monthly. So proper health insurance and life insurance definitely comes into effect with retirement. There are a ton of people who say the only reason I'm working as long as I'm working is, unfortunately, uh, to pay for the nursing home that's going to take care of me. Long-term <laughs> care, yeah. yeah. And I mean, nowadays there's special products that have long-term care built in for IRAs. So you have the ability to do things called rollovers. You know, We'll get into that at some point. Um, and roll out or some of them now will protect from long-term care. So it's not a, what if it's, I have the protection if I need it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and therefore, uh, that fear that people have that, yes. uh, that they've, 
They're just working for the nursing home that one day will care for them. Uh, they don't really have to think that way. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, the world's changing, and with what I do, I consider myself more of a retirement planner than anything else because I deal with the end aspect of it. Um, health insurance is the biggest thing. Long-term care is there, but it's just knowing what's there and protecting yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, uh, Clinton, as we know, uh, with GCES and with any company that is trying to help you to plan for your retirement, you want a good life. You want a good retirement. Uh, you you want to not have to worry. Yeah. I mean, I think I, I can't say for everyone. I like where I work. I like what I do. I like what we do. But a lot of people hate their jobs. And a lot of people go through life hating their jobs, doing the nine to five every day without ever having the forethought of getting out of it someday and enjoying the retirement. But if you hate your job, you should plan your retirement. If you don't hate your job, you should still plan your retirement because it's coming. It's inevitable. Uh, you know, not all of us are lucky enough to make it there, but a lot of people don't even think of it or look at it. They just are in that daily grind trying to get through it without a thought of what the future holds. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of initials and numbers of different things. Um, we were talking with Marshall Criswell last hour, uh, you know, the 501 C threes, uh, you know, in, in, in that arena, there are uh, different things. Uh, 401ks and and this acronym and and that number that code over here and and this one here all of them have to come together in yeah. order to form your retirement and and it really is it's a molding process isn't it it is for sure and the whole Roth IRA versus traditional IRA that confuses people as well what to draw from first I mean there are tons of different names for different products or aspects of the retirement savings. Mm -hmm. That's why Galen has studied for years and years for all of the tests he's had to pass to get here. So, yeah. Well, 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 yeah. And that study is very, very important, but then there's the practical application of all that study. And, and that's where you, you turn not into the mad scientist, but certainly somebody who, who uses the science of what you've learned in order to come up with the best product. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like, I think people are very scared about it or hesitant about knowing what it is. But for the most part, people are pleasantly surprised that they're a lot better off than they thought they were. Yeah. 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 So you got good news for folks. I have good news for folks. I mean, I'm optimistic about all of it. But in general, people usually react well after I tell them what their retirement is because they thought it was worse. Yeah. Yeah. We've gotten letters from clients uh, that say that we've made them feel a lot more comfortable because they were scared and they didn't know what it looked like, but it, they, it was right there. It was inevitable. It's about to happen. Um, and they had no clue what they were doing and any idea of how to fill out the paperwork. And we took them from working to retired in like 30 days. Um, and they said it was a seamless process where they felt comfortable. And that's not what they were like before Clinton's meeting name. with us. Galen Barger stock. The Government and Civil Employee Services is the formal name. GCES is what we want to think about them as now. So folks want to get started with you. What should they be doing? Uh, you can visit our website, www.gces.us. You can give us a call, 724-915-0000, or just stop in our office, and someone can take care of you and set you up with an appointment to meet with Galen. Beautiful. Gentlemen, thanks so much. We'll see you in two weeks. Thank you thanks so much. For us. Yeah. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com.